Hello and welcome. This is I seen you before playing Dominions 4 as Late Edge Relay. And today I'm joined by Sam. Hello. Man, we tried about twice to <laughs> get an actual let's play going through, but let's just say what we didn't really think about it beforehand. But now Yeah. <laughs> we'll start with a new tactic. We're gonna get the nature bless for our sacreds, which are the void beings, and probably throwing around sacred shrouds. At the same time, we'll get uh, a small reinvigoration buff and a high astral because we're well, really, and eventually we'll need to forge boosters. This time we got we got amulet of fish because I swear we'll eventually need this. Yeah, that was a problem before. <laughs> Because we end up getting the Abolef hero and he just ends up sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, he's a good hero. It's just that um, he requires more than a hero should. Yep, yep. But, but that's just the Abolet's problem in the first place. Mm hmm. It costs too much. Alright, so we will start this let's play. We'll, we'll have a high dominion because we got to dumb kill everything. So I'm all balanced with luck, magic, and slurf because we don't really need resources. This doesn't really matter underwater, and we are gonna leave growth and death at neutral so that we don't kill everything too fast. Yeah. Um, let's name the god. I I don't know right now. I, f I don't know. It's a coral, right? Yeah. Well, it is a coral. It is a... Oh, it's a fungus. Oh, it's... F no, it's a... It's a coral fungus from the void. There we go. But, oh, but... wow, Sean. No, no. <laughs> amazing. I know, I know. So, let's just pick a map where we have an... Okay, I'm out of seas this time. What about Paul, guys? Okay. No. Okay. Six players is gonna last how long? Hmm. Might last a while. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we could play this map. Okay, let's do this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> the name. I was, well, the microphone is in the way, so I was lazy to go around to click on <clears throat> backspace. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put uh, four computers or five computers. Yeah, let's just go four. Alright, alright. So one of them should be a water nation. There we go. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna use oh, this you gotta card. see where the rest of the bar. <laughs> I'm gonna use both the score graphs. Um, I'm gonna have to set it right this time. Okay. It's good. Hmm. Let's put two. And put 10 fronts. No, not 10 fronts. Let's put. Uh, ah. That could work. Yeah, that could work. Alright. Naming is allowed. Let's do this. In the beginning, there was chaos. Now it's time to <laughs> have the, the glorious ending once again. <laughs> At least it was Lobo guards at the beginning. Yep, yep. So immediately right off the bat, I think we should just make our prof um our starting commander into a prophet. <clears throat> ah, there's already a candle here, so I'm guessing one of our enemies probably spawned here. There's a throne there to the south, another one to the east, another one as well. And um hmm. Two more to the north. Well, we are well. We are pretty close to them, given the fact that we're in the sea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it's confusing when you play rapper on map sometimes. Yeah, I've, I've lost games because of rapper on maps. <laughs> so it's got this I wasn't sport. expecting. It's like you're going, oh, they're over there. I don't have to worry about it. these territories are safe. And then you just see them go <laughs> on the other side and rap. Just go backwards, and then they end up right on the other side of your army. So confusing, Sean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes I, you just, I sometimes I just zoom in and I try to be like as close as possible. So I'm like, okay, so if this wraps from here, this should be the complete view. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard because the game. Um, I would say there's not that great of an indicator, it's just really disorienting. It is, it is. Alright, so now that we have some Lobo Gods and some other stuff. There we go. I'm gonna send them straight on boys. That's easier. Okay. Well, yeah, what we learned the hard way is that you can't send them against cavalry. It oh, what was all of it? The, no, they were, they were only one dagger. So actually, let's go south. So then we'll have an option between this one or this one instead of only having okay. one option here. We'll send this Stargazer to summon a Void Being and hopefully it's going to be a cool one. And more Lobo yeah. Gods and we'll get Star Childs to get our research starting. Okay, let's just set those battle positions. He's the Prophet. I wish there was a shortcut to select spells sometimes. Yeah, just... Was... Okay, who has more of a wage? You? Wish there was a way you could just repeat last spell. That would be nice. Or repeat last command. Yeah, loss, exactly. Well, I don't think it will be a patch update about the UI ever. Oh, we have Aquacephal right here. Well, it's gonna be so sad. <laughs> it's like, why well, you fuck kill all the territories? Yeah. Alright, let's watch how this battle went out. I don't think we had much issue taking that, those guys out. Yeah, even the slaves are able to survive this. Alright, that's done. Easy win for us. Oh god, no. <laughs> no, why? <laughs> why? John, we can't beat John. That's like the worst. That's the worst nation in the game. <laughs> why is Libya here? The worst nation. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> why is Libya Why not, right? Oh, I forgot. We forgot to ban that nation. Like anyone who plays this game will tell you to do. But uh, uh, the AI doesn't usually know how to use it well, so I guess I guess what. I, I... Okay, so I guess we don't have to worry about the ethereal thugs everywhere. Mm, kind of not, but or we just gonna have to worry about him just spamming lots of ghosts and killing all the pop. But I guess we're doing it anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Yeah. Maybe maybe he's gonna be our friend because he's like, hey, your dominion is just like mine. It doesn't kill people. It kills people. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be annoying fighting him though because he doesn't have to worry about supplies. But around, I I kind of forgot. Are Lemurian troops mindless? I don't think they are anymore. Oh, because if we were mindless, we could just have, you know, mind burned. I think they can actually burned. get routed now. Hmm. I, they, they used to be mindless, I remember that. But they, I think they might have changed them along with Theridos, actually. Yeah, but they do okay. have a certain um, <clears throat> morale to them. Yeah, they do have morale, actually. Okay. Like, they're not straight 30s and 50s anymore. Yep. Oh, we got Ovenesses. That's good. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So why did I give him generation? We only have regeneration. Oh god, why? Okay, whatever. <laughs> he gets eight extra HP. Now we can go um now we can get six HP a turn. It's not that bad. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's true, that's true. Well, Argos Ethel still has not expanded, so... Argos is just sad. He's... Well, I, I don't even know what Argos is doing. <laughs> he should be... He should have already taken over <laughs> this region. Oops, wrong research buff. We should get some... Um... Construction. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Oh, I gotta say, um, going against the underwater nation, a good underwater nation in this game is the worst of the land nation. Is the what? It's the worst. A against Lemuria? No, oh, that's a given, but I'm talking about any nation that can go underwater a lot. Any underwater style nation. Then you have to fight them as a purely land nation, it's terrible. Oh yes, yes, going underwater as a purely land nation. And that's exactly why, um, that's exactly why Lemuria is also bad, because as you bring it up, Lemuria can do the exact same thing with no penalties. Yeah, I know. It's just insane. And they're going... <laughs> so it's auto. I, I find that, um, if you don't have a good underwater nation player with uh, Lemuria, it becomes very annoying in an ocean-based map. With a, or a nation or a, a map with a lot of oceans, like oh, Lemuria becomes the worst. <laughs> Lemuria has the big advantage of just having very high mobility. Yeah, um, in Lemuria is one of those nations where you actually team up with, or you actually team up with nations like Late Age Atlantis and tell them, okay, I'll give you gems to kill Lemuria. Yeah, take my gems, make sure he dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, use your magic weapons, kill him. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's the same with Riley, actually. I find Lady Age Atlantis is kind of like... If, Lady Age Atlantis is definitely one of those nations where you can be very diplomatic. Because you can deal with Riley, you can deal with Lemuria, and if those are in the game, everyone loves you. <laughs> That's true. Well... Well, maybe not everyone. L last game I played, they tried their hardest to stop my my teammate who was playing Late Age Atlantis to get the Water Province. Because <laughs> when he finally did, he started making crazy convenient. He made the um, he made the unsleeping, and he made the um, the water mages, right? Yeah, yeah, water astral mages. Yeah, the uh, the forgiving father. I think yeah, one. but he yeah, he kept dropping big spells on everyone. Yeah, those those hurt. Like, um, the forgiving father, he gets all the big water spells, and once he does, um, and what, and he can do the cleansing waters. Oh man, that that will destroy an undead army. Like, Lemuria will be so sad. Yeah, cleansing cleansing water. Yeah, cleansing waters hurt a lot. It's right right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then once you communion up, it it's just feel, it just covers the field basically. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what happened here. I don't think we had much problem dealing with uh, humans here because we had no range weapons. Yeah, no problem. And that guy successfully summoned. Nice, we got formless. Oh wow, no. that's good. That's good. We're doing great. Yeah, you know, one thing I do realize is that maybe. Well, I guess. Um... Yeah, you you got cut out. Can you say that again? I'm thinking maybe we didn't need the regeneration. When you think about it. Yes, I agree. But. I, I kinda... think it uh, might have been better if we went um, uh, full Earth, actually. Yeah, I kind of... I guess I... I over Because we would have gotten natural protection, which would really help these you. Yep. E yeah. Yeah. We will have gotten plus three to this, right? Five. Alright. Damn. <laughs> it's pretty good, Chow. Yeah. Oh well. We'll think about something. Oh, we something. can do this. We've got Shambler Thralls. <laughs> yup. <laughs> I always use that for my expansion armies. We have 14 of those guys. We can probably start conquering a bit more land provinces. 
And I'm guessing we'll, we're gonna end up going to war very soon. Yeah, we need a... we're gonna need a lot of income because that's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of income for a new fort, so... Yeah, we could easily kill... Oh, he's making... he's making Cerulean warriors, what a scrub! Yeah, we could kill... Aqua Sephal. Oh yeah, yeah, um, we could probably kill him, I mean, he's got some cavalry, but he's got a lot of... He's got a lot of shamblers and cerulean warriors, and those are terrible MR units. Mm, yep, yep, okay. So, let's just finish our expansion, and we'll plan attacking him somewhere on year 2 then. Okay. Well, actually, or should we just rush him? Do you think we can rush him? Oh, no. I don't know, every time you ask me if we think we can rush someone, um, we, we die. Yeah, I've got our <laughs> summoner died, sad face. Oh. That's so sad. We found gold, yay. Our summoner died. Sad. Don't think we had much problem dealing with those guys. Yeah. All good. Ah, now we have to recruit another one after him. Okay, let's get one more of those guys. Uh, we have tramplers here. Get that tramplers there. Mm, okay, so maybe I should just transfer some armies over. Oh, side note, Sean. Do you know if you heal a... um? Heal a communion master, does it also like if you use drain life for the communion master if it re reinvigorates the um the slaves? I forgot. I never thought of that. I have no clue. Hmm. So I was thinking of something might be able to do with EA Riley. That's an experiment though. Hmm. That's not a bad idea at all. Because they have um they have one unit with an AOE one drain life attack range drain life attack with a hundred precision. Pretty cool. Hmm. If, if I could, I have to think about it because if I could do that, I'm I'd probably at least want to experiment with it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> we should attack Okusefo. He's really weak. So is Bogaras. Yeah, they're pretty weak. Um. They have a lot of Peshti and archers, we can deal with them. Yeah, that's okay, Let, let's actually move our troops to rush, rush them. Okay, we should probably go first for Arco, I'm thinking. Yeah. Because yeah. we have a lot of my blasters. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit worried about Bogaris, just because Bogaris has a lot of archers, from the looks of it. And archers can really mess with us. Hmm. Like archers can really hurt. Yep, yep. Okay, we'll use the units. Okay, now we can bring everyone with us. More chaff needed. Mindless chaff, preferably. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Guess we should just keep pumping out units then. What we get? Um, hmm. So save some money, Aaron. We do need to build up our second fort. Okay, got gold, got air gems. Yes, we do need to build a second fort here. Okay, good. Give it to a sane commanders. Uh oh, I think we're running out of space here. Okay, that's good. Should we go straight to their capital? Yeah, sure. Just yeah. No more units for you, man. Yeah, make sure <laughs> we script it so they can all do their attacks. Yep. So, Spud was chaff in front right here. Get our guys to mind blast the enemy cavalry instead. Because I, I saw a few of them. We'll put those guys on hold and attack rear most. 
Yeah, a little bit worried about the Cerulean Warriors if you actually spent a huge amount of money off on them because they could kill some units. Come on, Tom. How? Sean, Sean, I don't know. I've never seen so many Cerulean Warriors. It's like, it's just like I stopped recruiting them, but he just seems to keep recruiting more of them. I, I know, you're just, you're just overthinking it, so. <laughs> it's just like he just recruits so many Cerulean Warriors, and I'm going like, what is this? Why would you recruit that many? That's why I build this for the next summoner, so he doesn't die. Okay, what what could we use to siege them? I I guess we we'll recruit a lot of slaves. Okay. He has a capacity of forty slaves, so there we go. Wait, wait, can we recruit local guards? What? Recruit wait, what? Who has higher strength? Local guards or the slaves? The 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 lobo guard. Take more logo cards. But don't, are, don't they get the penalty for sieging? They get a penalty for defending. Oh, right, right. That's what I was asking myself in. in uh, yeah, that's that's what we did in Shinigama, Sean. Yeah, we talked about this, I remember now. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Slaves are so bad, Sean. Why did they, why didn't they have the best troops? <laughs> I guess I guess they're okay if you actually want to kill things because Lobo Guards kind of are terrible at that. Yeah. Hmm. We need to get a lot of them so we can siege. But I also want to build a fortress here, so yeah. All right, let's cross our fingers and hope everything worked out. I think it did. Pretty sure. I mean. Okay. Oh my god, they have no- they brought nothing up. Oh, it's just gonna die- everything's gonna die then. Yeah, everything will die into Mind Blast. <laughs> everything dies. Ooh. Oh my god, Hoplite's actually doing damage. <laughs> what world is this? Okay, we got them. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, they are, so. No, oh, they are. Well, you didn't bring enough Cerulean more, you should recruit more. <laughs> Alright, so we'll take a break right here, and we'll be back on the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe to the channel, and see you soon.